sketch the graph of y equal to 10x, uh, x between negative 2 pi and 2 pi. We're going to use the five key points of the tangent, and we're going to see tangent as sine x over cosine x. So tangent 0 is equal to 0 over 1, which is 0. Tangent 90 or pi over 2 is equal to sine pi over 2, 1 over 0, which is undefined. We have an asymptote. Tangent pi is equal to sine pi 0 over cosine pi negative 1. So tangent pi is 0. Tangent 3 pi over 2 is equal to negative 1 over 0 and is undefined vertical asymptote. Tangent 2 pi is equal to sine 2 pi which is 0 over 1 so the answer is 0. Now we know that tangent pi over 4 is equal to 1 therefore this is how the curve look from 0 to pi over 2. Tangent 3 pi over 4 is negative 1. That's how the curve looks from 0 to pi. And tangent 5 pi over 4 is equal to positive 1. So this is our curve between pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2. And we'll sketch the curve from 3 pi over 2 to 2 pi, knowing that the tangent of 7 pi over 4 is negative 1. We just have to reproduce the curve from 0 to negative 2 pi, keeping our minds on the negative markers, the negative 5 key points. The domain is all real numbers except add multiples of pi over 2. So it's r minus 2k plus 1 multiply by pi over 2 and the range it goes from negative infinity to positive infinity y goes from negative infinity to positive infinity so the range is r we will understand cotangent as being cosine x over sine x and between negative 2 pi and 2 pi we will consider those five key points 0, 90 degrees, 180, 270, and 360. Cos cotangent of 0 is 1 over 0, which is undefined. Therefore, at 0, we have a vertical asymptote. Cotangent 90 is cosine 90, 0 over 1, which is 0. So cotangent 90 is 0. Cotangent 180 will be cosine 180, which is negative 1, over sine 180, which is 0. Undefined. Vertical asymptote. Cotangent 270 is 0 over negative 1 which is 0 cotangent 360 is 1 over 0 which is undefined vertical vertical asymptote now cotangent pi over 4 is equal to 1, therefore, and cotangent 3 pi over 4 is equal to negative 1. So, the curve will look like this, going down from 0 to pi over 2, and then to approaching 
the asymptote pi and we will reproduce it in each interval so now the domain will be all x except integer multiple of pi and the range all real numbers period pi domain all x except n pi range from negative infinity to infinity symmetry about the origin and vertical asymptote x equal to n pi